Yo, we back. Yo, what is up, F N Gang? And I am finally back from Florida. If y'all didn't know, I was in Florida over this uh, over this past weekend. For why, you may ask. X's last final album release party, as you know. Bad vibes forever. The last project you know, full, complete project that we're ever going to get. You know, I had to go to the album release party, so. I wanna let you guys know how it was there. Like, a lot of crazy things happened. Like, the experience was absolutely amazing. And, you know, I, I figured I would have a good time, but I didn't think it would be how it was. Like, it exceeded all the expectations I had, bro. So yeah, basically, it was Thursday is when there's like a museum, and then there was the album release party. The museum was at like 12 or something, and I had no idea, bro. I was like, by the way, first of all, when I landed in Florida, there the hotel you can't check in. We got there, we got there early. It was like probably ten something, and check in was until like three. And they didn't do early check in. I've been getting motion sickness. I don't know how I got it, but I developed motion sickness, and this should be like this should be hitting, and it's, it, it fucking sucks when I'm in the car and that should be shaking too much, bro. Palm trees, bro. Y'all know, y'all y'all know where I am, bro. Already know I got the pills, bro. I'm finna be off a of bean. Fuck is you talking about, fam? Y'all, there's like a, when we go exit the hotel, there's like a random cat that can't just be chilling. Whose mans is this? So yeah, unfortunately I didn't go to the museum. It looked like at the museum there was like pictures, you know, pictures of him, probably some pictures that aren't really, you can't really find on the internet. And there was like models, display models. There was a, there was his actual car. I think it was his actual vehicle there. But the museum and the album release party took place in the same area. So I seen some of it. I didn't see the car, obviously. They moved the car. <laughs> they moved the car, but um, everything was sort of in the same place. Initially going to the album release party, there's like a long line, okay? Everybody's trying to get in. There's people trying to get in. Uh, and that's just like general admission. And where I was going was like the VIP section, but I didn't know where that was. So I was just sort of just following with the crowd. And it, it's so crazy that like in line, and while I'm walking past these people in line, they're like all calling my name like, yo, don't, 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 get, it, don't get, it, get a picture. Oh, oh, I oh, bro, I'm sorry I didn't see it, man. You ain't had me back, nigga. I guess I did on PlayStation. Oh, oh bro. Oh, 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 if y'all don't know, I don't I don't feel famous, bro. I don't leave the house. I stay here. I stay here working, bro. If I'm not recording like I am right now, I'm streaming. If I'm not streaming, then I'm I'm working on music. If I'm not working on music, I'm just chilling, watching videos, eating, bro. Um, but yeah, I literally walk up to the, you know, the guy, and he's got literally a list of bro, a pen and a list. I walk up to him and I'm like, I'm Dante. I'm I'm Dante. And it's just it looks like I'm stuttering or something like that. And he's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing your name. I'm like, well, this is, this is awkward. Mind you, there's, you know, the general mission wasn't that far from the VIP area. So it's like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm Dante, I'm on the list. And they're like, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing a Dante. I'm like, yeah, okay, come on now. Yeah, yeah, I'm Dante, Dante, the YouTuber, anything? <laughs> Does it ring a bell, anything, bro? <laughs> something, man, come on, bro. I think he's looking under Dante the D's and not the I's and I'm like it's it's I'm Dante so it's probably under I'm Dante cuz I'm Dante I'm I'm Dante so it's probably under the I the eyes. It was me and then my plus one, which is my fiance. Me and her got in, and then boom, we're in the we're in the VIP section, and that's where all these these big names are. That's where all these people are, and it's friends and family as well. And I see Lael, and then that's when we finally meet for the first time. You can see that in her video. You guys, I can't, I'm so shook right now. I'm so shook that I. She's dope, and it's dope meeting YouTubers that are like exactly how you see them in their videos. She is exactly the same way. 
and it was really dope meeting her and her boyfriend sham wow <laughs> sham wow this is when it gets actually crazy but like in the room in the in the vip room there's like a like picture of him like a big picture that we took a picture in front of like all the rappers started to come in after we were just in there chilling talking and this is when i i like i like i said i don't feel like i'm famous so it's like it's one thing to talk to all these artists on instagram or texting them or facetiming them i don't know that's i feel like that's different than when it's actually in person, okay? Because in person, I feel like, you know, yeah, it's cool to talk to me online or on FaceTime, but like in public, you know, I'm a, I keep your distance, okay? I don't wanna be seen with you. That's what I'm thinking, bro. Like, I don't feel like I'm really that, I'm not cool at all, so it's crazy, okay? Trippy Red walks in. He has his whole entourage with him. I was talking to Lael and I didn't even notice Trippy had walked in. I just seen a group of people walking in, but you know, I wasn't trying to just be staring in people's face, so I was just, Focusing on what she was telling me, but I, I hear my fiance in my ear saying, Hey, Trippy Red! It's Trippy Red! I look over and I see Trippy Red. Trippy Red sees me. He walks towards me, bro. He walks towards me and he daps me up. I'm like, Yo, yeah, what <laughs> Oh, yo, what up? And I'm like, Yeah, yo, what's up, man? What's, you know, dap him up, bro. He walks away. I'm like, Yo, oh, shit, did you see that? I'm like, Leo, did you see that, bro? So it's like crazy, and then, you know, Seeing uh, Tank Head and all these other artists, bruh, like, even throughout the night, it just got even more crazier just seeing all these different artists, man. Finally met Craig Zinn in person. Literally, I'm, I'm taking, I think I'm taking a picture or something was happening, I don't remember. But I was taking a picture or recording something and Craig Zinn comes up behind me like this. <laughs> Like this, and I'm like, who is this, bro? I'm thinking it's like one of the fans. I'm like, yo, who, what are you guys doing, man? Like, relax. And I see Craig's, and I'm like, holy shit, man, it's you, bro. And it's just so crazy seeing him, seeing John Cunningham, who's extra, extra cutting, bro. He's he's amazing, man. He's responsible for a lot of the beautiful guitar things. The guitar. The things that he was telling me, he was like, X with X literally put a lot of people home. Oh. Y'all, Ken Soul walks up to me and he's like, yo man, I really like the stuff that you do. Job put me and a lot of people on to you. I'm like, thank you, Steph. thank you, man. Oh my God, Kill Station is, 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 the, is the dopest dude. He came up to me, he told me that I accidentally leaked the song, actually. <laughs> I accidentally, unintentionally, unknowingly leaked a song. It says Flyboy Tarantino and Craig Zinn are on this song. This is, who, which one of them is this? The house of a dead man. This shit reminds me of like some Three Days Grace type shit, bro. And I love Three Days Grace, bro. And at the time I had no idea because Craig Zinn had sent me a, just a, a zip file so that I could react to it uh, early and put my video up as soon as the album dropped. So many crazy moments and uh, there's a lot going on, especially with the fans. Freaking bad behavior was there. And y'all remember that time when she called, when she said I looked like Urkel, bro? Like an old TV show. You know, there's this one old TV show that you should look up. You probably know it because I think you were in it. It's called Family Matters. Did I do that? I confronted her and I was like, yeah, remember me? You said I looked like Urkel. You know what she said? Get away from me. <laughs> uh, don't own up to don't own up to the shit she said. Whatever. You're a child, I don't care. Uh but oh, speaking of children. B Slime was there. This dude is so childish, but then again, uh, duh. But he, I didn't know he was like under 13. I thought he was like 13. I thought he was like, I don't know. I don't know how old I thought he was, but he's like 12, bro. I'm not calling him Bree Slime, B Slime, bro. I just, Brandon, your name is Brandon, bro. I'm not, <laughs> what do I look like? You're 12, man. Uh, but no, Brandon, is, he's like, he's really just a cool, he's a kid, bro. He's a, he's cool as hell. His mom, shout out to his mom. His mom is cool. Uh, I was chilling with Craig Zinn uh, for a little bit. He offered to buy me a drink. <laughs> Everybody was drinking alcohol. I was like, you know, no, I'm good. I'll get it. I'll get an OJ though. Everybody there was cool. It didn't even feel like a concert. It felt like just a family gathering. I feel like Cleo did an amazing job doing that. We talk shit and shit. Oh, 
Um, also, you know, I've seen Cleo as well. Uh, figure that's a that's a no brainer. If you seen if you follow my Instagram, you've seen a lot of the uh, the footage that I've been inserting in these clips. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Like the vibe all together, it was it was so good. Everybody was so cool. Nobody was too cool, and nobody was acting uh, like they were too big to be seen with anybody, or too big to to hang out with anybody, or be seen with anybody, things like that. Everybody was just chilling. Everybody was just vibing. Like I said, it felt like a family gathering more than it felt like a concert or anything like that. There is one crazy moment, bro. Um, of all the celebrities, there's only one that I didn't really see walking around, and I guess that's because he was performing, but. Yo, we, I was chilling, I was chilling with my fiance and we were just talking and then I hear like Playboy, a Playboy Cardi song and me, you know, me and Brandon start dancing, we like, we like turn it up. I look on the stage and I see it's actually Playboy Cardi on the stage performing, I was like, oh, oh shit, like he's actually on the stage performing. Yeah. Yeah. This nigga Playboy Cardi, bro. The way he talks is so funny. Bro, he was like, yeah, I really don't like sweating out my clothes, but we really vibe not here right now, slash, slash. Everything was, it was just a good vibe. And then they played the album. They went through every song and it was so dope because everybody was just chilling. Everybody was just listening. My seeds like Adam and Eve. I got blood in a fucking leaves on my family's tree. Just give me one damn minute. This shit is hard for me. I lost my whole damn mama. I lost a part of me. She lost a whole damn life from symptoms of poverty. I have to listen to it again, like, you know, properly because it was like a lot of bass and a lot of the, everything just sounded kind of distorted. I couldn't really hear a lot of the things over the bass, so I'm, I am gonna have to listen to it again. I'll probably listen to it on my Twitch. Yeah, overall, that experience was amazing. It was 10 out of 10, man. I, I had such a great time, and it sucks that it's this, this is the last, you know, full project that we're gonna get. I think Cleo did an amazing job putting this all together. I don't think it ends here, man. There's, you know, there's still gonna be other things that come out, I, I believe. Like, we still got the documentary that's supposed to come out, right? Um, and I'm, I'm thinking, I'm wondering, like, this is probably part of it. Like, the stuff that was happening that night is probably part of the documentary. Like, that's gonna be in the documentary, so. Um, I guess this is like the big finale for it, and I guess that's that's really gonna be it, but it's not gonna be, you know, the end of X, you know. We're still gonna, you know, remember him. His name is still gonna be remembered and said. That's that's really all I gotta say, man. I don't know what, what more to say, just that he will, his name will live forever. He is a legend. I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Back at the hotel. All right, fam. See you, bro. See you, bro.